Aloha, I'm Kiana Kayabyab and you're watching Star News Live. Here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Tripler Army Medical Center is one of 16 locations chosen by the Defense Department as initial COVID-19 vaccination sites for the military. The military's distribution of COVID-19 vaccines will begin once the Federal Drug Administration authorizes the Pfizer vaccine for emergency use, which is expected as early as Thursday. In making its priority list, the Pentagon considered where it could be most effectively receive and administer the vaccine. Twelve military locations on the mainland have been selected for the initial vaccine distribution. Besides Tripler, initial vaccination sites outside of the continental United States include medical centers in South Korea, Germany, and Japan. The Defense Department said it plans to administer its initial allocation of nearly 44,000 doses to uniformed service members, including the Coast Guard, National Guard, military dependents, retirees, and civilian employees. Hawaii health officials today reported four more coronavirus-related deaths on Oahu and 80 new infections statewide. The new figures bring the total since the start of the pandemic to 264 fatalities and 18,741 cases for Hawaii. The U.S. coronavirus death toll surpassed 288,000 today, the highest national total in the world. Today's new infection cases in Hawaii include 45 on Oahu, 15 on Maui, 12 on the Big Island, 1 on Kauai, and 7 Hawaii residents diagnosed outside the state. Fewer than 1,200 virus cases in Hawaii are considered to be active infections, with nearly 80% of them on Oahu. Hawaii's COVID hospitalization rate continues to be low, with state officials reporting just 47 virus patients in island hospitals as of Tuesday. 16 patients are in intensive care units, and 11 are on ventilators. With Hawaii having the fewest new COVID-19 cases in the country, Governor David Ige is planning to reduce the number of days that arriving passengers with no test results will have to remain in mandatory quarantine. Ige is expected to change the quarantine period from 14 to 10 days when he signs his latest COVID emergency proclamation next week. The governor's office said Ige intends to follow new guidelines from the CDC and the State Department of Health. After Ige signs the new emergency order, it will take at least a week to make technical modifications to the state system so it can handle the change. The change will apply to inbound passengers who take the required COVID-19 test within 72 hours of boarding a flight but do not have their results upon landing. Current rules do not allow them out of their 14-day quarantine even after testing negative, drawing complaints from both visitors and local businesses that rely on tourism. A first look at how Hawaii's public school students are faring academically during the pandemic shows roughly 1 in 10 secondary students received a failing grade in English or math during the first quarter. But about 25% of Hawaii school students and 6% of middle school students had no grades recorded at all in English and math. These figures were contained in a set of metrics compiled at the request of State Board of Education members, who are trying to keep tabs on how the coronavirus situation has affected learning. The number of students who were not graded in the first quarter varies widely across the state as well as among grade levels. School administrators said the data likely includes students who opted for full remote learning programs rather than working with their regular teachers. About 26% of students statewide have chosen full remote learning. Finally, city officials will turn on the Honolulu City Lights for the holiday season tonight. The lights on the 50-foot city tree and other decorations outside Honolulu Hale will be turned on at 6 o'clock this evening. The city's holiday showcase will last until December 27th, but like just about everything else in 2020, the holiday display is subject to coronavirus pandemic restrictions. City officials are encouraging the public to enjoy the view while driving by and to not gather in large groups outside Honolulu Hale.
Even the giant Shaka Santa and Tutu Mele are wearing face masks this season. Officials say picture taking will be allowed in front of the holiday decorations, but safe social distancing and face coverings are required. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo and we'll see you tomorrow.